Good morning, everybody. Today I want to show you the place that I'm at, which is between Zhongxia Fuxi Station and Zhongxia Dunhua Station. And so, how I'll be doing this is that I'm going to be starting at Zhongxia Fuxi Station, exit number two. I'm, I'm going to try to make this more directional for you so that when you come here, any places that I point out, food, shops, anything like this, it could be easier. <laughs> From exit number two, just go straight and make a slight left. You'll bump into this dumpling shop. I made a video about it before. It's great. I really like it. Um, basically what it is, it's a fried dumpling. So the bottom is a bit crunchy and the top is a bit fluffy, okay? If you walk a little further and make a slight right, you'll also see another dumpling shop here. It all, but this one has more options. As for which one's better, honestly, the dumpling shops with the cabbage and the pork and everything, they all kind of taste similar. Not gonna believe what just happened. Yes, it started raining. I was like, what? This is gonna be extremely difficult to show you around the area as it's raining, but I don't care. I gotta do it. I'm stopping for a moment. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna have this umbrella without just holding it because it's too much of a hassle. So I'm gonna see if I can somehow creatively attach it to my backpack so it could be there by itself. You know what, let's see if this works. I hope this works. I'm not gonna have that much reach, but I could be like this and I could zoom in with the lens. So let's see. I look ridiculous. As you continue to walk straight, you'll also see a small little park that you could just kind of eat the street food if you like or just sit down at. I am sick of this. This is ridiculous. I can't even work properly. I can't even see where I'm going because this thing is covering me. Thankfully, I have a jacket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still record and everything. I'm gonna go outside when it's raining. I'm gonna cover the. I'm gonna cover the camera. I'm gonna put it in here. And when I need to take a shot, when I act like a ninja, I'm gonna jump, take it very quick, go back to being covered, or maybe just go under something that's covered like this, and then zoom in and then talk about it. Cause this, people, this is not gonna work. I. As I was saying, you just keep walking straight, you'll kind of bump into like a fruit shop and you'll see like a Buddhist area and they're playing some music or a ceremony. To make sure you're where you're at, if you see Mimo Wood Japan and you see this thing where I'm about to abandon my umbrella, then you're in the right spot. And so right next door to the Buddha, not the Buddha, right next door to the Buddha's temple, they have this little shop over here. They sell the papers that you start burning for the temple and some snacks as well. So now we're gonna go forward over there. The people here are very smart. They kind of have this roof that they put on top so that if you're gonna come and eat here or be around this area, when it rains, you don't get wet. So you have all these people eating here without worrying about the rain. I don't know if this is normal, new, or temporary because I didn't see this here last time. What I walked into, I don't know if it's because it's almost Chinese New Year, but they invited me to go and uh, eat with them. So it's awesome. I went to sit down and eat, and they were like, put the camera over there. <laughs> The sausage is really juicy. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah. Shrimp. Jinjiao, what name is it? Jinjiao, what name is it? Yes. What name is it? Yes. This one, what name is it? Yes. You know, I don't know what they have in look. They have this Chinese sign right here. What's that mean? The food was spectacular. I am telling you. Obviously, you could tell that it was very homemade, right? What's the difference between homemade food similar to what I just had versus like the street food in Taiwan? So I know at this point, you might be a little lost. Where am I? Where do I go? So I'm just gonna meet you back at the dumpling shop. Okay, we're back at the dumpling shop. Exit number two is there. We're going straight. Look at that hair. So you cross the street, you keep going straight, you come into this little shop. This is like a pancake cream dessert. They have cream tato, red bean. It's pretty. I actually, I actually like the uh, the cream one better. They also have a chocolate one in Shimen. As you continue to walk straight, you bump into this shop. It's called Charlie Brown. I came here a few days ago. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back in. I was thinking not to go back in because I came a few days ago. People's gonna think I'm crazy or something. It just has some different types of pastries that you can get. Um, and different varieties. Sweet breads, uh, floss, red bean. Uh, one of the things they do have is like an egg a pudding. I'm curious in how that tastes, but the problem is that you have to buy nine of them and I'm just not that interested in sweets to get them. When you get out of Charlie Brown, continue going straight and when you see MoMA, turn right and, and keep on going and you'll see a bunch of restaurants along this way. It's been a while, hasn't it? So if you keep going straight, this is actually one of my favorite restaurants in the area. They have some dumplings, rice. Oh, hello again. Hello, it's been a while. It's been a while. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, three, three. No, three. No, three. no, 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 three. That's just three. Just three. Just three. I just ate, man. I can't be having 30. You don't eat that. Got the pork dumplings here. It's the same. I don't know why the heck I ordered three. I'm definitely gonna have to up this to to six more or something. On to the noodles. It is super hot. I hope it doesn't fall. <laughs> I believe this is pork. The same type of pork that they put on the judo fan, the rice with pork. Same type of pork. The noodles are sturdy, firm, and not so flat. I think it's more like, you know when you make the homemade noodles, it can't be a perfect type of flat because you're doing it with your hands. And I believe that is the type of uh, uh, noodles that they have. I don't know if they actually hand do it themselves, but it does kind of look like that. It's not bad. Please let me know what type of noodle this is because I actually like the noodle more than the actual dish itself. Okay, let's head out. I don't know how I'm gonna get up. Let me just sit here for about like 10 minutes and then uh, then we're gonna go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Those guys, they helped me when uh, to translate how many pork I was gonna get. Pork dumplings I was gonna get. We're good now, we're leaving. Thank you, man. Thank you. I told you, I was only supposed to eat a little bit and eat the rest later, and, but I ate all of it. Now I feel like a blimp. So next door, they kind of have a, like a lunchbox place. Next door to that, unfortunately it's closed. They will have like, oh, they have some really good sausages over here. They have like meat kind of like hanging so you could get like sausage, maybe duck, chicken. I, actually, I think this is maybe one of the few places where you could actually get chicken instead of pork. 
So when you go all the way down to the corner, you're gonna see this place here. Now, I know you know what this place is. I came here on the first day when I landed and had those dumplings. Amazing. I know you're asking. Sorry, sorry, don't be cheap. I know you're saying, Linda, you always say dumplings are good. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I just love it so much. Speaking of, if you wanna be a little bit more healthy, when they give you the dumplings, just point to the oil and say no oil. This place has a lot of variety. You got dumplings, you got fried rice, there's an omelet oyster, which I found very interesting. Next door to this, which serves the great dumplings that I had on the first day, they have a Japanese restaurant over here. For me, I think, oh, I only had it one time. I had the tonkatsu, which is a um, uh, fried pork with rice. I thought it was okay, because I know how tonkatsu is supposed to taste like, so for me it was, Okay, I, but I haven't tasted the other dishes. Here, I came here one time. Hello. 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 All right here. What I think is a little different about this place is that the dumplings is actually just scallions. And then they have this like fried, I don't know what it is. Inside is just scallions again, but it's, it's a bit fried. And this is more like a pancake snack. So I don't really come here much often. I had the rice, it was so-so. And uh, the stinky tofu. Okay, remember when I was in Elon? And I had the stinky tofu and I was a bit scared. It's because I had that stinky tofu over there. It was so stinky, so powerful. I was like, ah. So when an Elon had the stinky tofu, I was like, nah, because it actually tastes good. And so this place right here actually serves like a traditional Taiwanese noodle soup. I thought it was fine for me. It was a little too salty, but I don't know if it's, that's just this place or just the dish. Um, they also have, uh, I think, another traditional Taiwanese noodle. Uh, it's more like a thick, a thick, slimy uh, juice instead. And this one is actually really good. They also have like a lot of like insides of the pig that you can eat. I've never been to this place over here. They do have the actual like long fried dumpling, so I was like, okay, let me see, let me see if it tastes uh, good as the one that I had in Elon and that I had when I went to uh, Xinjiang, right? But I was like, okay, just one. She was like, I have to at least get five. I was like, no, nah, man, nah. I had too much. I, I can't be getting no five. This area is where I have breakfast. Remember where I have some of the egg? That's here. So this is more towards the afternoon. This is a pork bun. It's different from the other pork bun because it's actually. The whole entire bun is like all crunchy because it's, it's put into this thing and it's super crunchy with beef and sca- I'm not sorry, not beef, with pork and scallion. This is the breakfast place, Nina, huh? where I get the eggs. And um, this is where I got those noodles where it, it feels like I'm brushing my teeth with noodles, not brushing my teeth, where it's cleaning my tongue. I know, you're probably confused, just watch the video. And then this is the market where they have meat and vegetables that I showed you the other day. Just go straight until you see lane 51 or fruit shop and then turn to a slight left and you're gonna see the rest of the restaurant. Oh, speaking of, remember we went here the other day? Yeah, so that one's a really, really good shop. That's a really, really good shop. So keep on going straight until you see Waffle Bank and then turn right. And when you turn right, you're gonna see the breakfast shop. Right now it's closed. This is the breakfast shop where I will have those little bowsers uh, that they're open from like 6 a.m. to 11. I was there about like two days ago. You, we were both there, you know that. Continue to walk straight, you'll see that place where we get the fun to one. Right now, she's not there, she, she's only here in the morning. Once you cross the street and go straight, you'll see Zhongxiao Dunhua Station, exit number seven. I'm back at Zhongxiao Fuxi, exit number two, and I'm going to go straight that way. like cookies and crackers and I think some stuff from like sweets from Japan as well but more of like the crackers than anything else this place here is another sweet shop again sweet bread or just like savory stuff like that and great it is raining again also I don't know if I showed you but look at this BAM my umbrella since I had to go back to Joe Fushing anyway I was like oh snap my umbrella's at the park, so I got it. 
And could you believe it was actually there? I think it was there by itself for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So when I saw it, I was like, yes! Right behind me is Zhongxiao Dunhua, exit number seven. So I, we've ended this right now. But before I conclude this, I need to talk to you. I'm gonna find the space to sit down. Under that rock, I'm gonna go there. Okay, so I'm really curious about what you thought of today's video just because it's very different than the other ones at least it feels that way to me in this video I felt more like a tour guide I felt like a tour guide because I was like this come on over here okay so you're gonna go straight and then you're gonna go to the left you're gonna go to the right you're gonna see the dumpling shop when you see the dumpling shop you have to turn right because you're gonna see the park but you have to turn to your right because if you turn left there's another park you're gonna get confused and you're gonna go to another station if you go to another station it's gonna be terrible for you to find your way back you're gonna have to go back to Zhongxia Fuxing exit number two your whole day is gonna be messed up it's gonna start raining on you you're gonna be thinking why am I listening to this guy it's gonna be horrible so remember to take a right by the time I made it back to the other side of Zhongxia Dunhua exit number seven I said oh snap I might as well call myself Lindo the tour guide in my perspective, they start making so much noise. You know what would be funny? That, no, it won't be funny. It will suck. Here's, here's what will suck. If all of y'all people tell me this was the best video you ever did, keep on doing it, man. I love it. You gotta do more of this work. I'm gonna start crying. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna read and I'm gonna be like this. Tears tears because I, I don't like doing this type of content of touring hey here there ooh, there left left west east west or north south I do not I don't even know some of the words that coming out of my mouth that was basically on my mind I wanted to let you know my perspective on the video and I want to know your perspective on the video but yeah that's it so just please let me know I do appreciate it as usual and um, right now I'm going to go okay I can't believe they actually leave the head. Dun, 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 dun. I said, hey, can you can you eat it like that? He said, yeah, you can. I was like, do you like it? He said, no, I don't try. You don't, you don't try. Look at that face. Oh, I no wonder why. It's just a whole bunch of skin. I'm gonna try to rip the, oh, you can see the bone, man. There's meat on that, there's meat on that. I just have one question. What's the point of having different types of animals to eat if they're gonna be tasting like chicken? We should just then just have a world full of chicken.